Hi everyone, I'm Sophie. Can you believe in a couple of days the year of 2023 will be over and the year of 2024 will start? As I get older, I notice the year goes by faster and faster. How was your 2023? For me, 2023 was a great year and a special one. As you know, I turned 50 years old in July. I know, I know, a half of a century. In the beginning of the year, I was frightened. I was scared. I was sad. 50 years old? Really? How did that happen? I felt old. But at the same time, you know, people say we're gonna live through 100 years old or longer. So if you think of that, 50 years old, it's just a halfway. I mean, to be honest, I really don't want to live that long. 100 years? But if I would, then I can't be just feel sad and frightened about being a 50 year old. And when I struggled like that in the beginning of the year, my friend asked me, do you have a word for the year? You know, like a theme. Huh. So I said, you know, that's going to be easy. Celebration. My word for 2023. My theme for 2023 will be celebration. Once I put that in my mind, everything was okay. And everything I do, I thought about celebration. Among everything I did, the top number one celebration and the best gift I gave to myself for my special birthday was to participate in the dance competition. And to make it even more special, I made my own dance costume. This year, actually, I made two dance costumes, one for the dance competition and the other for the spotlight, the annual showcase event at my dance studio. And we went to Sedona for a vacation and we did the longest hike I've ever done. Well, my husband, he did the Grand Canyon and everything, so this wasn't really much, but for me, this was the first longest hike I've ever done. It took four hours. I was quite proud of myself and I was very thankful for the youth and the health that I have. I also had a setback on my weight loss journey. I started my weight loss journey back in July 2022 when I hit the heaviest weight in my life. 186 pounds. It took me a year to lose 15 pounds, so I landed on 171 pounds. But then that's when I started preparing for the dance competition, sewing, sewing, sewing every night to make my dance costumes. Meanwhile, I gained a little bit of weight each month. And after Thanksgiving, I was at 178 pounds. From then to now, I was able to get down to one pound. I'm at 177 pounds. And obviously, I will continue on my weight loss journey through 2024. You know, losing weight is hard, but maintaining it, not gaining a pound at all is harder. A lesson learned. I will never, never, never take the weight loss focus from the top priority. No matter what, it'll be always my top priority. What's done is done and what's past is past. So what is going to be my word or a theme for 2024? Flexibility. Mainly it'll be the physical flexibility. And secondly, it'll be the mental flexibility. As far as I remember, I was never, never a flexible person. Even when I was young, you know, kids, they flip, they split, and whatever. It was really not my thing. And I was never envious about that. But in the past few years, I noticed that my body is getting less and less flexible. I was not flexible at all from the beginning. Now it's getting worse and worse and worse. And I don't want that. For the first time in my life, I have a desire to become flexible. 
For the well-being purposes, I would go to yoga classes from time to time and right, I cannot really touch my toes or do some stuff. But I thought that was because I was overweight. I cannot touch my toes and bend because of my big bellies in the way. Uh uh. I saw some YouTube videos of people who are bigger than me, much more flexible, doing all kinds of yoga poses. It was the moment of me facing the reality, like waking up, like, uh uh, so you are not flexible, period. So in 2024, I'm going to go to yoga classes more often. And I have my favorite YouTube yoga channel, Yoga with Adrienne. Every month she picks a theme and put her yoga videos together and put it on a calendar like this. In the past, I tried to challenge myself to follow through and complete the journey. And never succeeded but 2024 is the year of flexibility for me so I pledge that I'm going to um, try harder <laughs> no seriously I'm going to try harder to challenge myself every month I'm going to print out her calendar from her website and I'm going to really try and I will share how I do so you hold me accountable okay Please. So how about mental flexibility? Right, meditation. They say if you meditate 15 to 20 minutes twice a day, it'll actually give you more positive energy. You'll be calm, your mind will be clearer, your brain works better, you'll be more energetic. The list of benefits goes on and on and on and on and on. I tried in the past, but it didn't really last longer than two, three days. I mean, I tried to convince myself I don't have time, but that's a lie, right? Apparently, I have time to scrolling up and down on my phone, checking the social media and stuff, and watching Netflix, Amazon Prime. So if I say I'm too busy, I don't have time, I don't have 30 minutes a day to just sit down calm, that's a big fat lie. In Catholic, we call it contemplative prayer. The method is very similar to well-known meditation method. Just think nothing, feel nothing, <laughs> just close your eyes, sit there, quiet. A lot of thoughts will pop up, let them pass. <laughs> When it comes to meditation, I think the main reason we can't not make it a habit or actually exercise it day after day is not the lack of time, but rather the fear of calmness for even for 15 minutes. Just sit there calmly, do nothing, think nothing. It's kind of uncomfortable and awkward because we are just too wired, you know? But I think I'm ready to let go of it. So in 2024, I'm going to get myself started 15 minutes twice a day. In 2023, some people might have had a lot of joys and celebration like me. And some of you may have gone through some tough time, lost loved ones. Whether we had more joyous moments or more sad moments, I hope we can all say I did all my best this year and I am looking forward to the new year. Are you ready to say goodbye to 2003 and say hello to 2024? I am. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. If you liked this video, please check out other videos in my channel. And if you like my channel, please subscribe.